So when you think about AMG, you think about their monstrous V8s with the insane noise that they make. And also you think about the V12s and their massive power figures. But what about this? This has a four-cylinder engine. Have they gone mad? So this is the M133 Turbo inline four engine found in the GLA 45. And unlike the new 43 and 53 variants, which have a mass-produced engine by Mercedes itself, this is a handcrafted AMG engine built at the AMG factory. And this one has been made by Stefan Gromotlev, some German guy. Some German guy. If you were to show this car to a normal person, he probably wouldn't guess that this car can do 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds. And that's because at the end of the day, this car is still a GLA. So apart from a few different bumpers and a more aggressive hood, this car still looks pretty similar to a normal GLA. You have a 421 litre boot at the back with a, enough space to seat a family of four. And also you have red stitching all around the car to remind you that you're in an AMG and not in a normal Mercedes. You have these beautiful bucket seats up front which hold you in place when you're cornering hard. And you have the AMG logo embossed into them. You have the pointer marker at the top of the steering wheel with the metal paddle shifters. All in all, this is a really nice place to spend some time in. Mercedes has paid a lot of attention to detail. You have the AMG Affalter back logo on the gear selector, red seat belts, and also when you turn on the infotainment screen, the AMG logo shines in. But the thing is, it still isn't that different from a GLA until you twist the key and hear this engine. Paddle shifters on this car are just a joyous thing to use. They're very responsive and they respond to every tap that you give. The 7 speed dual clutch is a super insane gearbox in this car and it's unlike any other gearbox I've driven because it's very responsive. The four wheel drive means you can just pitch it into any corner without hesitating and it'll go and you'll come back out of the corner in one piece. But the best part about this car has to be the exhaust. I mean, when you accelerate and you do an upshift, it's not like a warthog. And when you let go of the throttle pedal, it's like Diwali. to an insane 6000 rpm and like the turbo kicks in super hard i mean the thing is with this car that it has two personalities if you want you can drive it like a proper hot hatch and you know like 10 tenths of the car but if you want it to be sober you can be sober with it and that's the good part about amgs is that if you want them to be a sports car they will be a sports car but then at the end of the day it's still a luxury car the GLA 45 is just a roller coaster of emotions. It'll leave you smiling, grinning, and just in awe when you are on that accelerator. Especially when it cracks and pops, you are just amazed by the noise it makes. So this car is owned by Dr. Avid Ravel and he is a really big auto enthusiast. His car has been done up by Sushila Auto Technic in Mumbai and has a stage 1 ECU remap from e-tuners. And with that amount of power, which is 420 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque, this car can shoot from 0 to 60 mph in 4.3 seconds. So from this whole video till now, you've understood that the GLA is quite practical and also it's really fast. But then one question arises, even if it's so like it's such a well-rounded car, why don't you see a lot of them on the road? Well, that's because the GLA has quite a high price tag. 80 lakhs X showroom is the price tag. But then again, you people don't appreciate this car. I mean, even if it's a GLA, 
you have so much of the like so much performance practicality and everything built into it the special seats the handcrafted engine the thing is we indians want mileage rather than the performance numbers and that's why we don't see a lot of these cars on the road if we change our thinking and get more of amgs and stuff like that we'll get even more better cars from all these manufacturers in india so what i think we should do is buy more sports cars performance cars i mean they are expensive but still there's something special to drive so thank you so much for watching this video tell us what you would buy would you buy a gla 45 cla 45 or something else in the segment uh, like share subscribe and we'll see you in the next one